Now we're going to look at the example from the worksheet. The example in the worksheet is only four cards long, so we're going to take away the last two cards, but you'll need to use them during the activity. So for the example, these are our cards. Now we want them to be in ascending order, which means at the end of our switches, we want them to say one, two, three, and then four. We also want to know how scrambled the cards are by counting how many switches we make. So I'm going to write down switches here so that we can keep track of how many switches we make. So let's start sorting our cards. We start with the first pair on the left. Then we check if the left card is less than the right card. Is four less than one? No. So we swap them around. And because we made a switch, we're going to write a one down here for our first switch. Then we check the next pair. Is the left less than the right? Is four less than three? It's not. So we need to make a switch. Now we've made two switches. Then we check the next pair. Is four less than two? It's not. So we switch them around. And now we've made three switches. We reach the end of our cards. Are they in order yet? No. So we go back to the first pair. Is one less than three? It is. So we don't need to do anything. We leave them where they are. Then we look at the next pair. Is three less than two? It's not. So we swap them around. And we add one to our switches tally, making it four switches. Then we check the next pair. Is three less than four? It is. So we leave them alone. Now let's check the order because we're at the end. One, two, three, four. Great. All, all finished. And we did four switches. So our cards were four switches scrambled. Now it's your turn.